Small islands will be challenged, in especially those in the tropics. And there are two reasons, two main reasons. One is the demise of warm water corals and coral reefs. And the second one is the sea level rise. Even with ambitious climate mitigation, we cannot prevent global warming to go or to remain much below 1.5. At this global mean surface temperature, 70 to 90 percent of the warm water coral reefs are going to disappear, and even more at two degrees. That the number projected is up to 99 percent. And many of these uh, small island development states depend on those systems for protein supply, for fisheries, small-scale fisheries, and uh, these, these resources will go away because with the dying reefs, the biodiversity will disappear. So this is one of the key challenges. The second challenge is uh, sea level rise. If we are lucky, we can keep sea level rise over the centuries to, keep, to stay below one meter, which is already uh, an existential threat to some of these small island states. And they may have to take uh, appropriate adaptation measures and the uh, capacity for adaptation is, is limited and there will need to be a balancing between staying behind and making a huge effort to kind of raise the surface level of, of the island artificially. Some, some states like the Maldives are already doing that. Um, but uh, uh, for some places, for at least for some low-lying coasts, their retreat may be the better option. It could happen regionally if, if, if the uh, small island state has uh, enough reserves. Or, or it, there would be international retreat. And our special report on the oceans and cryosphere in a changing climate uh, for the first time um, specifically mentions the risk of that some, some of these small island developing states would disappear from the surface of the planet.